NASA has recently tracked down a mysterious entity hurtling through space at a breakneck speed of 1.6 million kilometers per hour. This object is moving so fast that it could escape the gravity of the Milky Way and shoot into intergalactic space. But what kind of galactic speedy Gonzales is this? How is it possible for a celestial body to reach such an insane speed, and how was it discovered in the first place? Join us on this cosmic journey. NASA Breakthrough. A faster-than-light object is leaving the Milky Way. Here's the reason why. Have you ever heard of NASA's Backyard Worlds project? On one hand, this research project is searching for unknown brown dwarfs and stars close to the sun in the backyard of the solar system. On the other, it's on the lookout for the hypothetical Planet Nine, which is said to be hidden deep in the Kuiper Belt. But what kind of academic background do you need to take part in this exciting galactic hunt? Well, none at all. Backyard Worlds is a citizen science project funded by NASA, but mainly run by volunteers. They don't need any prior knowledge of astronomy, just proof that they have participated in a tutorial. A look at the exciting objects already added to the star charts, thanks to Backyard Worlds, shows that discoveries made by amateurs are in no way inferior to those of professionals. Made available to the public in February 2017, it took just four months for the community search to land its first direct hit, a brown dwarf 111 light years away. A brief introduction. Brown dwarfs are celestial bodies that occupy a special position between stars and planets. Since these objects have less than 75 Jupiter masses, they are not able to sustain hydrogen fusion in their cores. However, because they are more massive than gas giants, they are still heavy enough for deuterium fusion to begin. We now know that brown dwarfs are anything but rare in space. Backyard Worlds participants have been able to track down over 4,000 of these celestial bodies. What's more, a resourceful amateur astronomer also discovered the oldest and coldest known white dwarf with a dust disk. But now the members of Backyard Worlds have made a much more rapid discovery in the truest sense of the word. As NASA announced in August this year, we now know of the existence of an object in the Milky Way that is traveling at an incredible speed of 1.6 million kilometers per hour. What leads to this insane speed, and how do you even track down such a fast celestial body? A breathtaking find. The foundation stone for this cosmic blitz was laid by NASA's mission Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, WISE. As part of this mission, the Autonomous Space Telescope examined the sky in the mid-infrared range starting in 2010. The mission was reactivated in 2013 under the name NEOWISE and discontinued on August 8, 2024. Some time ago, WISE images came to the attention of longtime Backyard Worlds participants Martin Katnick, Thomas P. Bickle, and Dan Castledon. The amateur astronomers had become aware of a faint, fast-moving object with the scientific designation to Weiss, J1149. Katnick, who lives in Nuremberg, could hardly believe what he saw moving across his screen in the Wise images. NASA quotes him as saying, I can't describe the excitement when I first saw how fast it was moving. I was convinced that it must have already been reported. But as we now know, that was not the case. After receiving clues from the Backyard Worlds community, NASA followed up with observations from several ground-based telescopes to confirm the exciting discovery. As a result, these citizen scientists ultimately became co-authors of an official research study published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. As mentioned earlier, this cosmic rabbit's foot, with its astonishing speed, is currently taking flight from our local Milky Way. But it's not just the high speed that makes CY's J1149 so extraordinary. Its mass is so small that classifying it as a celestial body is complicated, to say the least. In the absence of reliable facts, researchers must delve into the world of theories. It is conceivable that we are dealing with a low-mass star here. Provided it is not constantly fusing hydrogen in its core, it could also be classified as a brown dwarf. However, if this is the case, the celestial body would be an astronomical exception. We know of no other brown dwarf that is about to leave its home galaxy. While the object is certainly not rich in iron on its journey through space, data collected with the Keck Observatory has revealed that it actually contains much less iron and other metals than would normally be expected for stars and brown dwarfs. 
According to NASA, this unique composition suggests that the celestial body is exceptionally old and could belong to one of the first generations of stars in the Milky Way. Why is this object so fast? Unsurprisingly, experts can only speculate. One hypothesis is that CYS J 1149 once formed a binary star system with a white dwarf. At some point, however, the white dwarf may have extracted so much material from its companion that it exploded as a supernova, literally hurling its stellar companion away. Another theory suggests that the speedy object was originally part of a closely connected star cluster, a so-called globular cluster. A chance encounter with several black holes could have caused the object to make a rapid exit from the cluster. In this scenario, the complex dynamics of this three-body interaction may have catapulted the star out of the globular cluster. Ultimately, it's up to experts to determine which of these possibilities is more likely. To solve this mystery, scientists will soon take a closer look at the nature of CY's J1149 and hopefully confirm what turned this mysterious object into a cosmic lead foot, the fastest star in the Milky Way. In light of the speed just discussed, the question arises, can it go even faster? The answer is yes, and significantly so. Although Kwai's J1149 travels at an impressive 444 kilometers per second, it's nothing compared to the star S471. Unbelievable, but true. This speeding star at the center of the Milky Way moves at a mind-blowing speed of 24,000 kilometers per second, or 86.4 million kilometers per hour. This corresponds to up to 8% of the speed of light. This celestial body can reach such a speed due to its special position as the fastest known star in the Milky Way. S-471 orbits our central black hole, Sagittarius A-star. The star takes just 7.6 years to complete its orbit around this massive object. The discovery of S-471 can be credited to a research team led by Florian Peisker from the University of Cologne. They combed through observation data from two spectrographs at the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, ESO, tracing the orbit and speed of several faint stars. The team had previously identified S2, an unusually bright star near our central black hole. S2 was used to test Einstein's predictions on gravitational redshift and the so-called Schwarzschild precession. However, S2, which takes 15.6 years to orbit the black hole, is no longer the fastest star in the galaxy. S-471 accomplishes its orbit more than twice as fast. However, the new record holder doesn't maintain a consistently high speed. Its average orbital speed is around 0.5% of the speed of light, but it reaches its maximum speed of almost 8% when it is closest to the black hole. Experts believe that S-471 could be a so-called squeezar, a theoretical class of stars. Squeezars orbit supermassive black holes in extremely eccentric orbits, heating up significantly due to tidal forces when approaching the black hole and cooling down as they move away. Spectral investigations have shown that the temperature of S-471 rises to about 10,000 Kelvin, 9,700 degrees, while the surface temperature of our sun is around 5,772 Kelvin, 5,500 degrees C. Researchers also believe that strong tidal forces cause extreme bursts of radiation in such stars. If S-471 is confirmed to be a squeezer in future observations, it would be the first known object to bring this hypothetical class of stars from theory to reality. At the same time, the discovery of S-471 and four other faint stars in the center of the Milky Way suggests that there could be a whole population of previously undiscovered stars hidden in the extreme zone around the black hole. Together with the stars already detected in the so-called S cluster, the orbits of these new stars form two disks that are almost edge-on at a 45 degrees angle to the main plane of the Milky Way. What this unusual arrangement signifies is still unclear, as is the question of how stars can form near a black hole without being torn apart by its gravitational effects. However, since young protostars with dust cocoons have already been found near Sagittarius A-star, scientists believe that a second, much smaller black hole could be hiding in the heart of the Milky Way. This smaller black hole would counteract the gravitational pull of its more massive counterpart, potentially saving the stellar birth clouds from annihilation. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Share your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. 
Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.